Hello, everyone. This is Ty. I'm here with Michael. This is Super Metal World. And like most of the metal world, we are grieving over the loss of Riley Gale. Riley was the vocalist for probably the hottest new age thrash band there is, Power Trip. Um, very sad. Um, at the moment of this recording, we don't really know what the cause was. It's tragic. Um, he was taken away from us much too soon. There's not any words that I can say to do it justice, but what we kind of decided to do to really honor him in the way that we know how is to react uh, to one of his live performances so we can kind of just all enjoy uh, his performance together because that's one of the things Power Trip was known for, um, and they still will be known for, is the power of their live performance. So without further ado, um, I've seen this performance before. Michael has not seen this performance. We're mm -hmm. going to react to it. We're going to celebrate Riley and just enjoy the hell out of this. So uh, enjoy, guys. So this is Power Trip, Take Soul Sacrifice England. from Bloodstock, 2018. I need to hit pause. Um, obviously, you know, Riley, uh, he's got, a, he's a man with a mustache, right? Which mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, there's definitely this, this, this trend of, of mustachioed, uh, you know, metal vocalists. And I feel like he set that trend, right? I'm thinking mm -hmm. like uh, Chase Mason uh, from, mm -hmm. from Gate Creeper. Uh, some of the guys from 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 like the the, the small band we've kind of talked about and featured before uh, from Wraith, um, I think even even a local band um, here in town, uh, Mall, their their vocalist has a is rocking a stash. So I think probably shouts to to to, to Riley Gale for kind of getting that going, right? Yeah, and I just also want to say that uh, that riff is grade A, fantastic. I mean, that's probably one of the greatest thrash riffs written I, I'll say in the past 10 years I'll go there okay it's a great one yes that riff is monstrous let's hear some more of it Gary King ooh Before we get into this, just like <laughs> look at everyone, everyone's just like <laughs> everyone's like the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Oh man, just like the simplicity like... of that riff. I can't get over that. Sorry, it's just, just so simple and so, but so effective. You don't have to write the most complicated thing in the world to no, make it. No, 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 you don't. I mean, I mean, in general, like the most gnarly riffs, right, are like mm -hmm. always the simplest, right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, the first one that comes to mind, right, is like walk or something, right? Just like right, yeah. Keep it, keep it simple, and like just, just slam the hell out of it, right? I, and that's yeah. exactly what they're doing here. Fuck yeah. Classic thrash, you know, sort of uh, lead up to the to the to the, the first verse, right? It's like you know a minute and a half long intro, which is, you know, I mean, yes. obviously, you know, you got that massive riff, you got to play it, right? Um, yeah, that's vintage. It's like a like a thirty percent of the song is just an intro, mm -hmm. which is right. I'm okay with. Like, I think it's fine. I I, I I love it. I I like um, you know. Riley's energy here, obviously with yeah. his head banging, 
ready to fire the crowd up. Um, always been a fan of his vocal delivery. Um, I don't know what the technical term for it is, but I mean, he's kind of yelling, kind of screaming. Yeah. Um, there's a certain Slayer quality to this band too. Totally. I mean, like the, the squealy riffs or the squealy leads, I should say. Um, and, and somewhat in his vocal delivery, I'm not saying he sounds like Araya, but, um, there's anyway. like the, the shout, right. It's like, there's the shout thing yeah. going on. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, love his work with like how he just like is very <laughs> adamant about like holding the mic stand, right? Like mm-hmm. that's just like his normal go-to is just like, I'm gonna hold this fucking mic stand. I'm destroyed. destroy right. You know, again, just like crushing that that simple stuff, right? Like it's not that. Mm-hmm. This is one thing that you know, like, is just so good about about thrash, is just like, mm-hmm. you know, like like the 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 sanctity of the riff, mm-hmm. and like the simplicity of the riff, and just yes, just something that gets you going and isn't like isn't anything like intense or wild or like even like ultra technical i mean obviously they're playing like fast as hell right um Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's just like you know something so good about about that 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 way of of you know creating metal music i think is just why it's stuck around for so long and why people love it so much yeah it's definitely one of the most i mean um it's kind of having a resurgence but yeah, it, it'll always be one of the most popular subgenres, uh, and that's totally. what sets it apart from from death metal in the in that sanctity of the riff you were talking about. Also, I just like the drummers. I mean, I know nothing about drums, but that's all I'm hearing. So, but I like it. It works. It works. It's just simple. It's just simple. Keep it simple. You know. Yep, he's back. It's just one, I love the wardrobe change, right? I was rocking. gonna say, did he have a hat on before? <laughs> no, he's rocking a hat now. I don't know if it's like the, okay, the wind okay. was blowing was in like, his hair. Like, so, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, a lot yeah, of hair it, problems. It, we got just ripping so like this is just like this is so beautiful and such like quintessential thrash. Like, mm-hmm. I think you know this is one of those reasons why I think Power Trip was hailed so much, right? Like people like mm-hmm. you know they just came they came out of nowhere and it's like oh like remember remember when this shit was awesome right like yeah obviously right. like no one forgot right but like no one had had a fr- you know fresh uh, a fresh nobody, man to kind nobody of nobody like, evoked it, it in this way no yeah. no there's just like something so i don't know just something so classic they, thrash they embody about it, it but, man they yeah body the essence yeah. of it um it's just there's the, a lot the, of new age thrash bands uh and a lot of them are quite good i don't know if any of them quite embodied that like power trip i mean they had the swagger um and i i don't want to talk about them in past tense i don't know what their future plans are right right um but like they have the swagger they have the riffs they have they you know all the pieces to the puzzle post malone's wearing their t-shirt i mean they had the mass appeal um yep. yeah all the right ingredients yeah I, I don't know i don't know what it is i don't know what it was is that you know sets them apart but it, yeah it's definitely like like definitely like another level, right? Mm-hmm. Like obviously there's a lot of great you know, modern thrash bands, but there's definitely like another thing that's like, well, what? What's what's the mm-hmm. what's the bigger appeal about about Power Trip? I don't know. That that's a and it, they got, got a question the, that the I saw a ton stuff. about. Yeah, they got mm-hmm. they got some secret sauce. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I 
think he's wearing sweatpants. Mm-hmm. I love that. That's, that's so good. One more time with some feeling. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it back. It's People back. better be watching right now. It's back. Personally, don't think there can ever be enough of this. No. Um. You know, wow. it's. I didn't want to like. Didn't want to pause it. Didn't want to interrupt what was happening there, because um, mm-hmm. <laughs> they like brought you know they brought it back, brought the uh, that like gnarly intro riff back, and mm-hmm. gosh, just so good. Like it's just nothing, uh, nothing flashy about it. It's just like try to deny headbanging to this. Yeah. Right. Right. You can't not. It's, it's one of those inject into my veins mm-hmm. moments. Um, yeah, I. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, that was a blast for us to listen to. Uh, there's not like a lot of just like single cut videos of them performing one song on YouTube. There should be. Um, yeah. It's mostly like these dumps of like their whole performance. Um, this was one of the only ones that was like a single cut. So there's definitely more on YouTube and probably out on the internet for you guys to explore. But um, you can just feel the energy from that performance. Uh, I'm sure they were a blast to, to see live. Um, yep. One of my great regrets will be not seeing them live with Riley. Um, yep. Absolutely. It's a bummer. Or, or not having you know him on the show or something like that. That's a, a total bummer. May he rest in power. Uh, certainly his, his story, his legend, his place in metal is solidified. It's going to live on. We definitely wish the best for Power Trip, whatever they think their next move should be whether they continue or not we support not going to do any speculation that's for them to decide but we wholeheartedly support them in whatever they do decide thanks so much guys for checking this out i uh, really hope you enjoyed it rest in power riley i got nothing else to say please subscribe um and hit the bell for us if you want to watch more of these types of things we do reactions and reviews and all that um horns high horns high